Scripture reading today in God's Word is Romans 5, 1 through 5. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith unto His grace, in which we now stand, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God, not only so, but we also rejoice in our suffering, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. And hope does not disappoint us, because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. Love is the most precious of the three. 
but the faith and hope are together. I've just um, put together, um, researched some different things on hope, and of course, um, I have to read things. I, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not like Alan, I can't just take a look at my head. Some things I can't. This is, I got Anyway, it starts out, plus, what does the Bible say about hope? The Bible has quite a lot to say about hope. Biblical hope has its foundation of faith in God. One of the verses we find the word hope in is Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. This verse at the beginning of the faith chapter, Hebrews 11, carries with it all the confidence that comes with knowing for sure, with no question, what has been promised by God in his word. Our faith is confident assurance, for it is founded upon the rock of our salvation, the Lord Jesus Christ. As believers, we are also called to give answer for that hope that is within us, to answer for that hope that is within us to any who ask. Biblical hope carries no doubt. Biblical hope is a sure foundation upon which we base our lives, believing that God always keeps his promises. Hope or, confidence, hope or confident assurance can be ours when we trust the words. He who believes on me has everlasting life. John 6, 47. Mm -hmm. Accepting that gift of eternal life means our hope is no longer filled with doubt, but has at its sure foundation the whole of God's word, the whole of God's character, and the finished work of the Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Sorry, my hands are really <coughs> for some strange reason, I don't know why. But anyway, what is blessed hope? Titus 2, 12 through 13, says that the grace of God teaches us to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. While we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. This passage identifies the blessed hope as the glorious appearing of Jesus Christ, our great Lord. Our hope is blessed in that Jesus' return will be an amazing, joyful <coughs> experience for the believer in Christ. We will be blessed beyond measure when we see Christ. The trials of this life will be over, and we will see that our present suffer sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Romans 8, 18. Jesus is our hope, and no one can take that hope away. Hope does not put us to shame. Because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has given it to us. Romans 5, 5. The blessed hope is the assurance that God will extend his benefits to us and that Jesus Christ will return. We are waiting for this event now. Jesus said he would return, John 14, 3. The angel said he would return, Acts 1, 11, and the apostles say he would return. Jesus could come back at any time for his church, which includes all believers in Christ. This event will be called the rapture. It will be announced by the voice of the archangel and God's trumpet call. And I remember so many times uh, Jerry used to say that he was just waiting for that trumpet call. So hope he heard that loud and clear. The believers from the dead and the believers still living at Christ's return will meet the Lord in the air and be taken to heaven. They will fly the friendly skies united. This will happen in the twinkling of an eye. Corinthians 15:32. Jesus' return should motivate the believer to live godly in an ungodly way. The blessed hope brings us joy and cheers us through the trials of this world. It should also cause us to stop and evaluate our thinking, words, and actions. What does it mean that Christ in us is the hope of glory. Colossians 1.27 is a powerful verse. God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. The hope of glory is a fulfillment of God's promise to restore us in all creation. Romans 8, 19-21. This hope is not a wishful thought, but the confident, expected knowledge that we are being changed by God and will one day see him face to face, having been conformed to his image. Romans 8, 29. The hope of glory includes our resurrection, 
If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies because of the spirit who lives in us. Romans 8, 11. It includes a heavenly inheritance. In this great mercy he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you. 1 Peter 1, 3, and 4. The spirit of Christ within us is the deposit guaranteeing our inheritance. It's Ephesians 1. Christ's presence in us is, is the hope of glory, and this truth is full. And this truth is full of glorious riches. Our once dead, darkened spirits are made alive. Christ is in our hearts, and we know that there is life beyond this earthly existence—a life that will be glorious beyond all imagination. What is the difference between faith and hope? Faith and hope are distinctly are distinct yet related. The difference between faith is evident in Corinthians 13, 13. Now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Hebrews 11, 1. Faith is confidence in what we hope for. Faith is a complete trust or confidence in something. Biblical hope is built on faith. Jesus' return is our blessed hope. Titus 2, 13. We can't see him yet, but we know he is coming, and we anticipate that day with joy. Jesus said he is coming again, John 14, 3. By faith, we trust Jesus' words, and that leads to hope that we will one day be with him forever. That is the basis for our faith. Then we have Jesus' promise, because I live, you also will live, John 14, 19. That is the basis for our hope. The child's natural trust in his father's promise is the faith. The father is his is the faith. The child's squeals of delight and jumping in place are the expressions of hope. Faith and hope are complementary. Faith is grounded in the reality of the past. Hope is looking to the reality of the future. Without faith, there is no hope, and without hope, there is no <coughs> faith. Amen. Christians are people of faith and hope. We have the hope of eternal life, which God, who does not lie, promised before the beginning of time. Titus 1 2. Now, I don't know, I didn't time myself, though I don't know if I'm going to be early or I'm going to be late, but I guess it just is what it is. <laughs> what is the Christian's hope? Proverbs 23 18 says, There is surely a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Without hope, Life loses its meaning, and in death there is not hope. The righteous who, must, who trust or put their hope in God will be helped, and they will not be put to shame or disappointed. The righteous who have this hope in God have a general confidence in God's protection and help and are free from fear and anxiety. Psalms 46, 2-3 says, there we, Therefore we will not fear, though the, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though the flock, waters roar and, and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. Christian hope is rooted in faith, in the divine salvation in Christ. Hope of Christians is brought into being through the presence of the promised Holy Spirit. It is the future of, the, of hope. It is the future hope of the resurrection of the dead, the promises given to Israel, the redemption of the body, and the whole creation, eternal glory, eternal life, and the inheritance of the saints. The return of Christ, transformation into the likeness of Christ, the salvation of God, or simply Christ himself. The certainty of this blessed future is guaranteed through the indwelling of the Spirit. Hope is produced through suffering and is the inspiration behind endurance. Those who hope in Christ will see Christ exalted in life and in death. Trustworthy promises from God Give us hope, and we may boast in this hope and exhibit, exhibit great boldness in our faith. By contrast, those who do not, do not place their trust in God are to be without hope. Along with faith and love, hope is a virtue of the Christian life, and love springs from hope. 
Hope produ produces joy and peace in believers through the power of the Spirit. Paul attributes his calling to the hope of eternal glory. Hope in the return of Christ is a basis for believers to purify themselves in life. And would you pray with me, please? Heavenly Father, I just thank you for the, for the courage and the, well, I can't read the same time, but just the <coughs> courage to get up here and, and uh, speak before my family. Um, just a little bit, just, and that's okay. But just be with everybody. I hope something that I had to say would be a blessing to someone in our, in our family. And, and just be with those that are sick and getting over this cough and this cold and this terrible thing. Be with us as we go through our week. Go, go through our week, Lord, and just help us to endure every day as we go. We just ask all this in Jesus.